Team Zepso YouTube channel covering sports from around the world. Car reviews, all you need to know about the cars. Trending news and hot topics. Monthly motivational talks. Follow me on my social media handles. See you soon. The problem is not the state, it's not the technocrats, it's the politicians. If you removed the politicians and their, and their meddling, you'd find incredibly capable people who know what they're doing. Let me make this as a controversial statement, and I'll say it to you because you're a brother. If, God forbid, what happened to Keenan Forbes yeah. happened during apartheid, yeah. and the apartheid government wanted to find the killer, they would have found that killer in 24 hours. You're joking. That is a fact, and I know it as much as you do. Thank you guys for tuning in my channel, King Said So, and we're back at it with another one. And this time around, I'm touching at the subject. I'm, I'm sure you, some of you will see that I'm very, pa I'm very passionate about this subject, and um, I, I want, I want you guys to listen carefully to what I'm about to say to you guys, because um, what I'm, I'm about to say to you guys is very important. Excuse me, let me just put this phone on silent. Guys, what Vusi said um, is very disturbing. It's the same shit that Johan uh, Rupert, I almost said Rupert, um, um, was, the, was the CEO, Andre the Reiter said, and it's what most people are saying. Guys, the system of apartheid managed to keep, uh, to take the chains off our hands, but install it in our minds. So everything that white people do, we respect as black people. Listen to what Julius Malema said about his securities. He said, He's got security card, black guys, and he has one white guy. He said whenever something happens, he sends the white guy, whether it's a, a traffic jam or they need to go somewhere or they need to, to speak to someone, he sends the white guy. Because why? Black people are conditioned in their mind, conditioned in their mind to respect their, 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 their skin color through slavery. slavery. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. But I want you guys to wake up. Because you can't keep on sleeping and allowing people... I mean, Vusi is a billionaire. He's a billionaire. I'll get into him because um, I respect him as a, as a businessman. But um, I didn't even watch this interview with him and JJ Tabane. Uh, I saw Penwell defending him. And once I saw Penwell defending him on what he said that the apartheid government would have found AKA's killer in 24 hours. When I, once I saw Penwell, the biggest coconut and black sellout that we have on social media, defending him, then I knew that something is wrong. Then I had to go back and go watch and watch the entire interview and see, and, uh, uh, and see how, how it came about that... Um, Vusi said this, and he said it out of the blue. He said it out of the blue. Just because you hate the ANC, just because you hate your own people, understand, you will go this lens to say the ANC government, the, the, the apartheid government would have found King, um, um, AKA's killer in 24 hours, 24 hours. Okay, it's fine. To everyone that is listening, because I went to his Facebook, I went to I, I went to check people people's comments, and people was like, "Yeah, you are right, man. They, uh, there was no low shedding in uh, at that time. Uh, you know, they were catching criminals at that time. They were doing okay. Give me one example. Give me one example where the apartheid government there was a murder." There was a murder off or off off or on camera that was captured, and the, the, the murderer was captured in 24 hours. I'm waiting. This is the biggest nonsense we South Africans have to 
free ourselves from. Umkonto we sizwe, the military arm of the ANC has performed many acts. Many acts. Some we hear about church bombings. Some we hear about mass murders. Fighting back against the apartheid government. You, don't, you can't tell me they were arrested in 24 hours. You can't tell me that. I refuse. I re until you give me a case number and you give me a, 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 a suspect that was arrested in 24 hours, I can believe you. It takes time. So much so that the apartheid government will just go and enslave someone. They will take me. If there was a uh, maybe a, 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 a criminal around my hood or maybe a, 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 a someone got murdered, they will take me because I'm in the ANC. They will go and, 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 and put me in a cell and beat me up and force me to say it's Mandela or it's Vusi, or it's whoever. They will go to the point of, of, of making sure that they get a name out of me, whether it's the right or wrong name. They will take me to the field and let police dogs bite me so I can be a Mbimpe. You, you heard how uh, Winnie Mandela was dealing with Mbimpis. Those Mbimpis had absolutely no chance because your bravery is going to be met with death. Only a few men at that time and age would have, would have um, stood up up to uh, for the truth up to their death up to be exiled now we have uvusi tembekwayo whatever his name is who was born in 1985 by the way 1994 he was nine years old was nine years old where did when did you get a chance of doing a case study to to find where apartheid government was arresting people in 24 hours they was just arresting anyone. Anyone. What you said, Vusi, is wrong. And somebody has to say it. In this channel, we're not going to respect anyone because they are billionaires, millionaires, or presidents, or not presidents. The truth will be the truth, and the truth will set us free. And I'm sorry to, to have this type of energy today, but it pissed me off to see South Africans backing him. Also, what must we do now? Must we reverse to the apartheid government? Maybe they'll find uh, Senzo Mayua's girlfriend, uh, killer? Huh? Well, what must we do? What must we do? Must we go back to the apartheid days so that life can be better? There was no life that was better pre-94 in this country. There is nothing that the apartheid government did that is better than this current generation. Nothing. You, can tell, you can't tell me anything that they did. Anything. Whether it's agricultural, whether it's economical, whether it's policing, whether it's housing, whatever it is. There's nothing that they did better for us black people. You understand what I'm saying? For us black people. than what the current ANC government is doing. Yes, I know we don't have electricity. I know our we've got potholes everywhere. Everyone is just spray painting and writing ANC some nonsense. I know, I agree with that. I've got a car, I've got a nice car also, and I'm, I'm going into these potholes. I'm seeing the crime. I've got a big a bob wire fence around my wall so that criminals don't jump in because I know crime is bad. But to suggest for even one second that the apartheid government could catch a killer, a well-planned assassin, because that was very well-planned, very well executed, in, out, shot, and out. They would have found him in 24 hours. What would they have done? Because people in social media, they were accusing uh, uh, Anneli's father. They were, the apartheid government was going to take Anneli's father and beat him to death. Because he was the number one suspect. People are suspecting uh, AKA's friends. They were going to take that friend, take him to prison, beat him to death and force, force a name out of him. And you say 
that was uh, arresting a criminal in 24 hours. Shame on you, man. Shame on you, Fusi. Shame on you for even saying, I know you're a coconut. You and Penwell, the black pen. Take out black out of your name, Penwell. Because there's nothing black consciousness. There's no a drop of black consciousness in you. For you to even, there's nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, some of us, we experience apartheid at a very low level. If you didn't have to walk with a dumb pass or with a permit to go from one place to another, if you, you, if you didn't have dogs just, uh, police just kicking down your front door, if you didn't experience any of those things, you just experienced apartheid at schools, at the workplace, maybe in the, here and there. We saw that boy in Limpopo, in Limpopo at the fish and chips where the white man took out a gun for for salt and sauces and vi, uh, vinegar. We saw what happened to those boys in the free state in the pool. Uh, the cases are... We saw what happened to that... Uh, a poor little girl that was raped at uh, Drosso a day in uh, Pretoria. We saw what happened. We, we, I can name case after case after case after case of apartheid acts still happening now. Look at what happen what's happening in on Orania. Look at my last video where I speak about uh, Fontaine. Just take a look at what white people think about us black people. And I said this when I was speaking about Ntlantla Lux versus versus um, Julius Malema. I said, enough is enough. Can we stop fighting each other? Can we stop fighting each other? Unite and help our people. If this, if this one is doing something to help our people, let me go and support him. Whether I'm EFF, A, A, N, C, D, A, or COPE, one S, whatever. But if someone is doing something and it's helping my community, I must not be politically blind. And the worst thing we can do, and that is what is what is killing the ANC slowly, is that in the ANC we have people who are playing for the other team. I've said it many many times on my channel. Instead of instead of black on black uh, uh, teaming each against each other, is black on black violence factions. And then you have black playing for white monopoly to attack black on black violence. How are we going to ever come right? And you people that are you 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 people that are commenting and saying, yeah, he is right. They give me an example. Because you know so much. You know all the police cases of the apartheid days. Give me an example. Who did they arrest in 24 hours? Who? We want to know. That is why when Andre the Rater said one billion a month, we said which month? For how long? Since you got in there? Since three months ago? Since eight months ago? Don't give us just uh, don't don't give us an allegation. Give us stats and give us time. Can give us evidence. What Vusi said is wrong. I don't care who says what. What Vusi said is wrong. Times have changed. And I saw a, a stupid South African who stays in America. He said, um, she is a she. She commented, she said, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy I moved to, to America uh, because uh, here things like that don't happen. Don't talk rubbish to that. The entertainment industry in America, rappers are being shot left and right in America. The gun control in America is out of hand. The people cannot control. The police can't control. That's why the police are so fearful that they will shoot first and they will shoot an arm up the black man first because they've got fear of all the gun freedom that there is in America. Don't ever compare America to South Africa. Don't ever do that rubbish. South Africa is one of the best countries in the world. Yeah, I said it. Yes, there's people with better infrastructure and all of that. But we South Africans, we need to wake up. And don't allow someone 
who was born in 1985 to tell us that what the apartheid government could do. You are young, Vusi. You are a young man. You are a young man. That's what you are. There is nothing you know about apartheid, you, Vusi. You, there is nothing you know about apartheid. Me and you are born in the 80s. You know nothing about apartheid. I went to African schools where I experienced a taste of apartheid. I can only call it a taste. I worked at the farm as a supervisor here in the Northern Cape, where Africans is still the first language. The Africans is the first language in Northern Cape. Only when you go to sites like Kuruman, where you find little uh, Africans. But the rest of Northern Cape, 90% of Northern Cape, wherever, whichever place you go to, Africans is the first language. Our government, they are still allowing our children to, to learn Africans in schools, where Africans is only spoken in South Africa. Africans is not going to carry any child to make them better uh, in terms of ling uh, linguistic language anywhere else in the country. We said one Africa, one currency. We said one Africa, one language, Swahili. That's what we said. Let the African presidents unite. Instead of teaching our children Africans, let's teach our children Swahili. So that when my child goes somewhere in Africa where Swahili is spoken, they can speak fluently there. I told you guys, I speak all 11 official languages, plus Portuguese, plus Swahili, uh, plus Swahili. I'm learning Swahili, I'm learning, learning Swahili, plus Swahili, plus Shona. So I had a, 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 a mate who was cleaning for me from Zimbabwe and I learned Shona. You know, Taura Shona and Bichana and Bichana. So um, my Shona is good. I'm all right. No one can say anything to me about Sean. I can hear anything. I'm so sorry for taking so long, guys, with this video. But I'm very disappointed in you South Africans. Our grandmothers were raped. My grandmother, le let me say a short story. My grandmother told me a story where, where she was doing domestic work, cleaning. The small boys came. They were, they, were, they were just in, in, in high school, probably started um, uh, eight, nine, somewhere there. And, and this boy, because my grandmother is an African woman, very well built, touched my grandmother's ass. And my grandmother turned back and slapped him with the, the, uh, the broom. And this boy beat my grandmother up. And my grandmother... Fortunately, because this boy was still young, he was still in high school, like grade 9, grade 10-ish type of a thing. Uh, my grandmother could wrestle him away and go and, and, and leave that place. She was going to be raped. There were many grandmothers that were raped. She got home, told my grandfather, and my grandfather said, Never again are you going to go in to work for a white person. Stay at home. Be a That's how my grandmother became a stay-at-home wife. Those are the people that experience apartheid. Don't tell me about you, Vusi. When? I don't tell me about you. Don't ever, ever suggest ever again in your life, Vusi, that the apartheid government was better in anything. In anything that they did that, was, that, that could be beneficial to us as black, black people today. Don't ever do that again. It's your boy. King 053, Mr. Easy Money. My apologies again. <sighs> See you on to the next one.